It was a late afternoon. Just before sunset, it was still light outside, though only just. There was not much on 40 metres. Tuning around revealed a few contacts in progress on SSB, a bit of CW, but not too much else. Until I heard W1YL stroke 7 calling CQ. It wasn't a strong signal, but it was Q5. So, on the off chance, I replied, running about 10 watts from a micro bit X, driving a G5RV. I didn't expect to be heard. They were probably running 100 times my power, and their signal was not particularly strong here. But I replied, and I was heard, by Alan W1YL, operating a remote station in Nevada. What follows is the tail end of that contact. As it turns out, Alan is one of the true old-timers of amateur radio, having been active before most of us were born. You can find out more about Alan and her long and fascinating life in radio and allied fields in a QSO Today podcast. I'll include the link below. Contacts like these show the serendipity of amateur radio. You never know who or where you may work next. The only thing certain is that you must be listening and be in a position to transmit in order to enjoy these opportunities.